Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, it seems like Dallas County and Collin County get all the publicity when it comes to home sales, but there are some hidden gems in Denton County. We'll be exploring that with an expert next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, if you've lived in North Texas for any length of time, many of you remember when Plano was just a small town and Frisco was just a little you know, dot on the map. Uh, as those cities were growing and growing, they were getting a lot of media attention. Trust me, I was one of those reporters covering the boom in Collin County. But right next door is Denton County. It doesn't get a lot of attention, but it should. Talking about that today, Tina Bryant, she is with the Bryant Real Estate Group. That's the Realty Team. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, first, share us your journey. So you didn't start as a realtor. You started in interior design. I actually started doing design work. Um, I started as an apprentice and then had my own company in Oklahoma before we moved here in 1988 and then was a stay at home mom for a while and then kind of uh, started learning about how to design and build custom homes and did that for a while helping people design their floor plans and GM and, and project manage custom home building and then my husband and I were flipping and we thought, why not real estate? So I've been doing that also since 2005. 2005, so you hit that uh, great recession. I <laughs> yeah, remember, remember what that was like. like this. You're like, hey man, it, it's easy to sell homes. It's, <laughs> and it's then had its 2008, but so you've seen many cycles. Uh, what cycle would you say we're in now? You know, people say to me, they, oh, you must love it in real estate. And this honestly is probably one of the hardest cycles because um, values are all over the board and comps are just a starting point, whereas they used to be um, what you could base offers off on and they're a launch pad now. Wow, okay, so let's talk about some of the hot communities in mm -hmm. Denton County. I think mm -hmm. most people know Denton, they know you know the universities up there, uh, but outside of the, you know, the, the city of Denton, mm -hmm. what are some hidden gems that we should know about? Well, right outside of Denton, there's actually a community called Harvest Meadow, Pecan Square, uh, Canyon Falls, or just to name a few. Obviously, there's more as you get down towards South Lake or over toward um, Frisco, but that's just a really hot market right there. There's a lot of people wanting to get into those three communities. And school systems are good? Yes, that's one of the reasons why they're coming. Those communities have a lot of um, in-house events for families, for young children. The schools are right there located, so that makes them even more sought after. Well, let's talk about first-time home buyers, because I know you're passionate about helping young couples get into a home for the first time. Uh, what does the market look like in Denton County for first-time home buyers? It's really very challenging for a first-time home buyer. First-time home buyer used to be able to get into a home for 100, 150, 200, maybe 225. Um, but if those people didn't buy a couple of years ago, now that same home buyer is probably having to buy something around three, maybe even four hundred thousand dollars for a comparable home they could have two years ago. Yes, which it's making it very difficult for them. Well, and I know one of the challenges has been there just haven't been a lot of inventory out Absolutely. there. Now with interest rates, are some people starting to put their home on the market, saying, "Gosh, I I, I kind of miss the, you know, the the up up up." Uh, I don't want to get caught in a down, down, down. Are they putting homes on the market? Homes are definitely on the market. The challenge is because there's so little inventory, then you have to strategize with your home seller and buyer as to the right timing. When do they put that home on the market in comparison to when they want to buy so that they're not, they haven't sold it and they're without anything versus they're not buying and paying two mortgages. So that's part of what I do is help come up with the strategy so they know how to do that timing or you know put together their offer so that they're not 
Sure. Strapped either way. And Tina, I know you do a lot of luxury work, uh, but I was on your website and I wanted to show just a few properties that are not, I would not call extravagant, uh, very right. affordable. Very uh, what affordable. are we looking at here? So with there being such a difficult time for first time home buyers to get a home and very low inventory due to the demand, I've noticed a rise in people wanting to buy a lot of RVs. They want to try to get something that they can live in that maybe isn't an apartment or a rental because of the rising rental rates. And so that first was a client of mine that actually um, we've sold property for, bought investment property for, and he also had an RV lot. And so I'm helping him sell an RV lot um, that is actually on Richard Chambers Lake, just oh, south beautiful. of Dallas. So you can have your own little spot on the lake in your RV or tiny home. And that's what that first picture Love is. Love it. Let's, let's look at the next one. So this was a first time home buyer. I actually helped this client uh, buy the home um, in 2015. They're reselling it. They love it because they've made uh, almost $200,000 since then on this little home. Nice. Right off of like 114 and mm -hmm. 35W, that's a very uh, much expanding area. If you've been down that way, you're seeing 114 getting expanded mm -hmm. um, to take you from Roanoke on west um, to accommodate all the subdivisions going that way. And I think we have one more. And now this one actually was in Denton. Um, this is in a small little community. It's got a lot of uh, fun trails and ponds. This was a repeat client and they loved it because they were expanding for their family and also to accommodate the mother that was going to live there. So that's another trend I'm seeing is a lot of multi-generational scenarios where people are wanting to buy bigger homes for that home office, as well as having parents come and live with them. It has to be fun to have repeat customers. Oh, I love it. I mean, it just, I try to um, develop a relationship. It's not just a transaction and um, yeah, it's very rewarding. Uh, absolutely. And she is really one of the top in the business. I met her at the Next Gen Luxury event uh, held by Cliff Freeman, yes. who is also, um, you know, part of our Real News family. There you are, the step and repeat. And I think there's yes. a, another picture. There you go. That, that was fun, wasn't it? It was a very fun event. Lots of wonderful um, sharing of, you know, little tidbits, nuggets of information as to where they've come from, how they've done it. Um, you can always glean information and take it back to your clients to better serve them. And that's sure, what I loved about sure. it. Sure. Well, uh, the one thing about real estate is, especially in Dallas-Fort Worth, there's never a bad market in Dallas-Fort Worth. I think the statistics show that some 200,000 people moved in last year. And you have that many people looking for homes. It's not like we ever go through a depression. It's just right. kind of like it plateaus and maybe dips a little bit. But, but I think you can be safe in making that kind of investment. Would you agree? I totally agree. You know, a few years ago when you saw places like California, Florida, and New York really nose diving with their values, some of our values went down, but they never tanked like some of those other regions on the coast did. We have a very stable market. We literally have more demand than the supply is. Yes. In fact, we could go into next year with all the homes being built and I don't know if we would still accommodate them just because we have a lack of, of, of materials for these builders to build and lack of um, contractors to be able sure. to get it done. So we have a very good housing economy yes. right now. And I know, um, especially after the tollway, we, we're growing all the way up to Oklahoma. Yes, <laughs> <In 75. laughs> the tollway I've, is... I've, I've heard that like Sherman is now almost becoming a suburb. It is. That. What's happening north of Denton County? Oh my goodness. So north of Denton County, when you go into, let's say, Cook County up by Gainesville, mm -hmm. I was just actually pulling up some land stats the other day about seeing all the different um, land that is being sold, houses that are being sold. I have investors that come and want land kind of ahead of that bubble. Right. So they want to be poised for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So there's a lot of... Um, investment going on yes. north of that 380 you know yeah. growth pattern that we're currently in and that's one of those kind of quiet growth areas like i wish i mean you got here in 88 don't you wish you had bought some land in frisco <laughs> well i even have land i'm going hmm, why did we sell that then we made some money we could make more money now but you know that's that's the thing is i mean we're not we're not a fortune teller, so we don't know exactly what the market's going to do, but uh, we're in a great market here in the DFW Metroplex, and Denton County is, is among that, so I uh, love 
I love it. I love seeing where we're going. Uh, I think we have great things even ahead uh, in the real estate market. We only have a little time left. What would you say is your secret sauce or what separates you from your competitors? Oh my goodness, my secret sauce. Well, um, first of all, I feel like it's it's a personal uh, endeavor when I get with my clients. It's not just a transaction. I love that I can bring to my buyers my design and construction background. If they want to go to build a new home, they definitely need to know builder contracts and I can definitely help if they're selling their home, I can help them stage it. So I think I go beyond just knowing real estate. I know some other factors around all things real estate that have really served my clients well. Outstanding. You've been a great guest. We'll have to have Thanks you for back. Having me. Uh, Tina Bryant, we're going to end with the website, which is DentonCountyHomeSource.com. Thank you so much for coming on Thanks, the show. Thanks, Jeff. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.